Yo, what's up, everyone? Today, let's learn how to move a part using our keyboard. So inside of my workspace, I have this little black square. This is gonna be the perimeter where I want to be moving uh, my part that I renamed to moving part. So inside of that little uh, arena, I guess you could say the square, I spawned in a part and I renamed it to moving part. And I also have this controller where I have to be equipping it in order to be able to move this part. So I'm gonna go actually gonna go ahead and add a point light inside of this handle, um, just so that I know when I am uh, activating you know, the controller and when it's not activated. Uh, scratch that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a spotlight. And then um, once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna move my controller all the way down to starter pack. Okay, so once I am done with the controller, let's go ahead and add a local script inside of our tool. We have a variable which checks to see if it's a player and we're gonna go ahead and get the character of our player or character added in weight. And then we're gonna go ahead and set our humanoid variable and a debounce as well as a variable for our user input service and a variable for our moving part inside of our workspace. So we have an activated function where anytime a player equips the controller and if they click, then the walk speed of our humanoid is going to be equal to zero. And then if they click again, then it's going to return back to its default speed. We have a function for our UIS, our user input service. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and set our key codes. So now we're gonna go ahead and set a key code for WASD. So if a player is pressing the key code W, then the moving part is going to move from its current position plus uh, so we're now we're gonna go ahead and head back to our workspace move our part forward as if i was pressing w and you can see in the position that it's adding one so my z is moving in uh, plus one stud so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for a s and d so i'm gonna move my part to a so which is the left and my x-axis is moving to a negative number so s is going to be moving the Z axis is moving in a negative number. So negative one. And then one more, I'm gonna go ahead and set the D which is moving to the right. And it is moving plus one to the right. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disable my spotlight in the Explorer page. And I wanna go ahead and create a variable for my spotlight right now. So that when a player is activating the controller, the spotlight is enabled, and if not, it'll be disabled. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and equip our controller. Click inside of our workspace, and you'll see that it is red, which means that it, um, I can't move around, but I can I can move my part around. How cool is that? Sweet. So if full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. I know this was uh, quite a mouthful, <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.